Hi, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Uh, you're going to be hearing some noise in the background. There's some maintenance people back there uh, doing what they need to to make sure that the jungle doesn't consume us. And uh, I'm just sitting here having a uh, cup of my favorite Costa Rican coffee. Ah, so good. And I would like to talk to you today about the three levels of forgetfulness and the one grand level of remembering. Now, as I go through these five-minute motivators, I, I hope you're starting to realize the, the, the psychological depth, the philosophical depth of some of these, and then trying to unwind them and unpack this information in such a short period of time. So what that means is that I'm going to have to gust a little bit uh, for today's uh, uh, five-minute motivator. But when I say the steps to forgetfulness and then the grand step to remembering, here's what I mean by that. Think about the number of people that we interface with on a consistent basis, on a daily basis. People that we know intimately, people that we uh, uh, are in our circle of friends, and people that are kind of distant to us, but that we still have to interface with constantly. We still have some type of interpersonal relationship with on a consistent level. Uh, think about how much you remember of the, of the situation that you are with this individual. Think about when you interact, how much, of the, uh, how much you actually remember. Probably not that much. Here's why. Here is the first level of forgetfulness. People will forget what you said. Think about it. What you say is kind of vaporware. It's out there. It comes out of your mouth, and it's gone. People will forget that, and they'll forget it very rapidly. Sometimes they won't even know what you said. So the first level of, forget, of forgetfulness is what you said. If you're going to make an impact on a person, it ain't going to be with your words. Consider that. Okay, so what's the second level of forgetfulness? What you did, your actions. People will remember your actions more than your words, but in many situations, your actions will be forgotten about relatively fast. And again, th think about the reasoning why. Think about what happens. Your actions are seen once, there's not a lot of repetition, and the end result is after you said something and after you did something, it's metabolized and then it goes away. So people may not, in fact, remember much about what you did. Okay, so people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. What's the third level of, for, of forgetfulness? People will forget the results that you've obtained. Now keep in mind, you say, oh, well, people aren't going to forget that. It's the third level. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. Then the third level are the results that you got. Now, obviously, what's happening here is that people are remembering more and more as you go up this ladder from words to deeds to results. But the fact is, is that results are going to be forgotten about at some point also. All right. Results are normally obtained once. There's not a lot of repetition with that. So consequently, results may be forgotten about. All right. So that begs a question then. What will not be forgotten? Well, if people will forget what you said, if people will forget what you did, if people will forget the results that you got, here's one thing that they will never forget. How you made them feel. People will not forget how you made them feel. If your words, your actions, and your results culminate in a person's perception of their feelings, they will remember that, good or bad. And the reason being is they will play those emotions over and over again in their mind and thus have a great deal of spaced repetition attached to that. Now, you need to consider that, ladies and gentlemen. You need to consider that because as you go about your daily business, you're going to have some people that you talk to and it's over. You're going to have some people that you talk to and that you act with, and it's over. You're going to have some people that you talk to, you act with, and you're going to show results for, and then it's over. But people will not forget how you made them feel. The goal is to make people feel good. If your thoughts, your words, 
I'm sorry, if your words, your deeds, and your results all culminate into positive feelings for the other individual, you've gained a friend, you've gained an ally, you've gained a confidant, and you have somebody that'll work with you forever. This is Bill Shockett thanking you for attending yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Please like, share, and comment on this. And uh, remember, there's a 5-Minute Motivator membership coming up real soon. Talk soon. Bye-bye.